Hi there everybody! In this lesson we will get a little practice with my favorite blend modes. We will be drawing these three orbs. So let's get to it! We start with a red circle. Let's create a new layer and set it to multiply. I will use the same red as the base layer and draw it on the original circle. This results in a darker color. I will use this darker color as a shading color in my palette. After that, let's reset the blending modes to screen. We use this mode to grab the highlight color. And let's also add the base color to the palette for good measure. Ok, now we have our basic palette. Let's put the mode back to normal. And let's activate alpha inheritance. And let's do some shading and highlighting. Let's also add a small shiny spot in an even lighter color. And let's add a little backlighting too. Pretty good results so far, I'm not dissatisfied, but I want to increase the contrast a bit. First I add another layer and set it to overlay. Remember, overlay multiplies when I use a dark brush and screens when I use a light brush. So I pick a light grey and draw gently on the part that I want lighter. And then I pick a dark grey and draw gently on the part I want darker. Don't forget the alpha inheritance. And there we have it. Let's just activate and deactivate the overlay layer to see the difference. It's a pretty big difference. Ok, on to the next orb. We will draw this glowing orb. We start off with a circle. And let's use the multiply layer to add shading. And the screen layer to add highlighting. And then let's merge the layer. Let's do a little bit of touching up. In fact, let's add another multiply layer to increase the shading. After that, we add an overlay layer. And let's use a light yellow to lighten and add a yellow tint to the sphere. And the dark yellow just slightly on the darker parts. Then we add a color dodge layer. We use a red color to give an inner glow to the sphere. And let's add one more layer to blend things a little. Next, in a new layer below the group, we are going to add some glow. The glow layer must not be in the same group, because we don't want it to have any effect on the alpha inheritance. We experiment a little with the glow color. Orange to yellow. Light orange to reddish. Yep, 
yellow to reddish. I think this last one, light orange to reddish, works well. So I'm going to keep it like that. And there we have it. Next, we will draw this metallic sphere. First of all, we create the palette in the usual way. And we shade and highlight the sphere in the usual way. Then we add a specular layer. We add some large specular spots in a very light color. I also add a dark spot to the lower half of the sphere. And a gray spot. I decrease the opacity of the dark and gray spots to make them not too obvious. These spots represent vague reflections from the surroundings. After that, I will use the transformation tool to adjust the specular spots. Incidentally, you can learn more about reflections and specular light and other topics to do with lighting in the appendix. You can learn more about the transform tool in the section about sketching. Next, we will create another reflection layer. Let's draw the reflection of the sky and the ground. Remember that the sphere will warp the shape of the hori horizon. Let's draw in some trees too. And let's make the layer very transparent. And let's lower the layer below the specular and other reflection layer, but above the shading. And let's blend out the edges a little bit. I like experimenting with blend layers here, as you can see. I try a lot of blending modes out. And see if there are any cool effects.
After experimenting a bit, however, I'm just gonna stick with good old colored dodge. But it does give me an idea. What if I add a layer and paint it blue? And choose a cool blending mode? There are all sorts of options that look pretty neat. It, it's a lot of fun playing around with this stuff. So anyway, that's all from me for now. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!